Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Tom. I'm just sitting on my back porch. It's a beautiful day outside. I thought I'd get some fresh air. Actually, there's something I wanted to show you. It's right behind me. If I move the camera a bit, I think you might be able to see it. It's a tree. We talked about trees quite a bit not too long ago. And I thought I'd show you the tree that's next to the corner of my house and explain a little bit to you about why it's there and how it got to be there. Let's go take a look at it, okay? Those are the chairs on the deck. I was just sitting in one of them. And this is the tree on the corner of the house that my wife and I just planted a few years ago. It's called a poplar. It's really tall. If I get down low, I think I can angle up and show you just how big it is. I can show you the top, but it's so tall it cuts off the bottom. I think it's probably over 20 feet tall. That's about over three Mr. Tom's tall. That's pretty big. This tree's only been here for about, uh, less than three years, and it's already grown that much. It's a different kind of tree. It's tall and thin, kind of skinny. It's not wide. Its branches go up. We put this tree in specially just for this spot. And the reason we wanted a tree there is to replace another tree that used to be here. There used to be another tree in this exact same spot. We had a really bad storm one year, actually about three years ago, just a little over three years ago, we had a snowstorm and the snow and the wind knocked that tree over. As you can see, the snow and the wind knocked the tree over and we loved that tree. We were sad to see it go because that tree gave us a lot of shade. When the sun is high in the sky, it beats down on us in the summertime when we're sitting on the deck. And that tree used to give us shade. I'll explain to you what shade is. Boys and girls, to try to explain what shade is to you, I'm gonna ask for some help from my friend, Professor Frank. Say hi to the boys and girls, Professor Frank. Well, how do you do, boys and girls? I <laughs> no. Professor Frank talks a little bit strange, huh? Well, he's gonna help us uh, explain and understand what shade is. Well, look at Professor Frank. He's in the sun. We're pretending that this flashlight is the sun because it's a bright light that's shining down on Professor Frank and he's getting awful hot. But if we can put something in front of the sun so Professor Frank doesn't get so hot, he'll feel a lot better. Let me slide this tree a little closer and you'll begin to see Professor Frank get dark. That's because Professor Frank is in the shade. The light 
or the sun can't hit him and make him hot because he's in the shade. And the shade is this dark spot here that's blocking the light from the sun. If I take the tree out, Professor Frank's in the, sh in the sun once again, and he's hot and sweaty. Well, oh, that's right, boys and girls. It's so hot here, I'm beginning to sweat profusely. Believe me, hi. But if I bring the tree back in front of Professor Frank, he's in the shade once again, and he's much cooler. And a cooler Professor Frank is a happier Professor Frank. Blive, that's absolutely true, boys and girls. You have a wonderful teacher, Mr. Tom. He's explaining these concepts to you live with expert ingenuity. Hey, goodbye. All right, bye-bye, Professor Frank. Thanks for helping us out. Blive, then no problem, please. So, that's why we planted this tree, to take the place of that other tree that fell over in the storm. We hope that this tree, when it gets a lot of leaves on it, will get big and wide enough to block the sun out so we don't get sun in our eyes when we're sitting on the deck. But not so big that it touches and pushes on the house and makes a lot of leaves in our gutters because that's work I don't want to do. So in a couple more years, we hope this tree will have a lot of good leaves and give us some really good shade for our back deck. It's a nice looking tree, isn't it? I dug the hole myself. I planted it. You know, it wasn't a tree when I planted it. It was a stick about that tall. One stick, about as big as a pencil. No branches, no leaves, nothing, just a stick. And in less than three short years, man, it grew into that. It's huge. And I even cut a little bit off the top because it was getting too tall. That's our poplar tree on the corner of our house. We put it in to give us some shade for when we sit on our back porch. Nobody likes to have the sun on them when it's hot. That's one of the things that trees do well. They give you shade. I've enjoyed showing you our tree, boys and girls. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.